Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and today we're going to be doing a live demonstration of the Digi Asset Dividends website. So, what we're going to do to start off with is we can either click on this for an example, or what we'll do is we'll just paste one in there that I've previously copied the asset ID for. Now, I'm going to go through here, it's going to give me a quick confirmation, there is a total supply of 100, and there are 26 individual people that hold these at the moment. So, I'm going to click on Next. And it's asking me to deposit my Digibyte into here. So what I'll do is I'll hold this up and we'll quickly scan it. My handy dandy cell phone. And let's go and send, I mean, there's 100, so we'll do, yeah, we'll do 101 in total to cover the fee. Cool. So I'm hitting send here. Digibyte sent. And what we should see is on the screen, this pops up. Yeah, there we go. That was nice and quick. So system fee the amount that's been deposited so this is how much is going to be paid out we're going to click on the next button here now just in case anything ever does go wrong this is the private key shown to you so that you know that you can basically trust the website you can get your funds back what we're going to do is we're going to click on next and that's it we're all sent nice and simple how easy was that so that's the Digi Asset Dividends website. Now this is going to be open sourced as well. I'm gonna pop that up on GitHub eventually. Uh, big shout out to Sergey for all of his hard work with making this for me. Really appreciate that. And to everybody, I believe that was one of the Digi Byte memes. Which one was it? 26. I think that might have been the Illidan one. Oh well, a couple of people have just got themselves some Digi Byte, so yay. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, on to other news. So, Andrea Servita here, head of Unit Knowledge Management and Innovation Systems at the European Commission. What a really cool title. Like, what an awesome title. Has shared an article uh, about the new secured um, European e-identity, and in this particular article, if we go through to it, um, you can actually click on the link and go through there. They talk a little bit about Digibyte. So... That's really quite cool how they're looking into that kind of thing. Uh, we're going to find out more about this really soon. Rudy Bowman has previously hinted at a few bits and pieces as well. And we know that AntMyD are working really hard on their MyDigiPassword refresh as well, which is looking fantastic and super slick. So hopefully we'll have a whole lot more news about all of those really, really, really soon. Uh, James here has gone and shared about the upcoming event that they have as part of their Lagos tour for Digibyte Awareness in Nigeria. So this is really, really awesome. Uh, really excited to see this kind of thing happening. Really grateful for the group there and all that they're doing to push Digibyte in Nigeria. So big shout out to them. Uh, for all of my viewers who are in the area, hit them up, go along, check it out. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic time. And one more thing, just to close the video off, this has now been changed. We've decreased it from 500 Digibyte down to 150 Digibyte. This is predominantly because of the increase in price in Digibyte. While also, I'm kind of about halfway there in terms of having repaid off the um, amount that was invested into the website overall. So, uh, as many of you are well aware, I went and I've paid for this, paid for the development myself, and so that's what the fee basically goes towards, is kind of recouping that. So. Uh, 150 Digibyte is somewhere around about like three or four bucks at the moment. Wanted to try and keep it under that five dollar mark, you know. Um, and that goes back towards repaying for the hosting costs and things like that, the development as well. So, anyway, it's been reduced from 500 all the way down now to 150. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's you can go and check this out. You can go to digiassetdividends.com. Uh, I haven't got the source code up yet but it will be real soon but because it goes and gives you the public uh sorry the private key as well you don't have to worry about anybody running off with your funds or anything at all so yeah go and go and give it a whirl go and find the unique asset id try it out try the payments out and see how you go give me any feedback hit me up on telegram you can reach me in the comment section below you can reach me on twitter as well at dgb underscore chilling consider leaving a like subscribe hit that share button and I'll talk to you in the next video, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.